Uh, hello everyone, I'm very happy to be here again to share the development progress of our browsing browser. We can see that the browsing browser has reached version 0.2.1. I was away for quite a while without any updates because I was busy with my thesis. So after I finished my thesis, the first version we brought had a lot of optimizations. For example, many friends have been asking if we could remove the multi-page tabs at the top, if we could have immersive browsing, and if we could add some other features. We've addressed all of that, and here is our detailed update log. Let's check our browser. The main page looks unchanged, but clicking the bottom right reveals a redesigned page with iCloud shortcuts and a smooth pop-up animation. We've added features like immersive browsing, where searching for Huawei shows the sidebar disappearing to expand the browsing area, redesigned interface, screen recording may lag, but animations are smooth. Features include immersive browsing, searching Huawei shows sidebar hides when scrolling, reappears when scrolling up, top section adjustable to remove persistent tab bar, top bar gone, two action buttons remain, can be turned off. Hmm. And when we click in, we can see that as we scroll up and down, the sidebar automatically disappears to increase our browsing area. When we scroll up, it reappears. And this section at the top can also be adjusted using our settings tool to turn off the persistent tab bar. OK, we can see that the top bar is gone, but there are still two action buttons. And these two buttons can also be turned off based on your needs. After turning it off, we now completely have no top tab bar which gives us a much larger view, even in a non-form state. After turning it off, we can also manage our tabs here. For example, we can create new ones. Here we manage tabs. I can delete one. We've added continuous immersion. Clicking it prompts a return option. Exiting immersion hides sidebars. To exit, go back and they reappear. We also have a printing feature. Clicking print uses the system's function. In settings, customize the proxy server. Exiting immersive mode directly takes you into a state where no matter how you scroll, there are no sidebars. This is what we call continuous immersion. If you want to exit, you just need to scroll back a bit and it will pop back up automatically. We also have the printing feature. For instance, when I click print, it automatically calls the system's printing function. Then, in the settings, we can customize our proxy server. These are all part of the updates in this version. The sliding pie page with dual sidebars can also be turned off, so it won't be active now. Here is an update on the new version of our browsing browser. If you want to participate in our testing, you can scan the QR code to join our WeChat group. Thank you, everyone.